Hello. Here I am with another helpful video, hopefully, on something that some people may be having issues with. Um, DTS and MKV files do not play on the PlayStation 3 um, as a file. I don't know if you put it onto a disc um, as Blu-ray and burn it as a Blu-ray disc. I think that probably does work, but as a file, it d just doesn't work. First of all, MKV just doesn't read. It doesn't read them at all. You need to have them in a format called M2TS. And I seem to be having trouble with um, uh, DTS files, and as the audio doesn't seem to be playing at all. Now, the programs I've found to help me fix this are these ones here. Uh, DivX is not needed at the moment, so what we're going to do, um, if you're having the if you're having the DTS problem where you can't read the audio, you're going to get this program here, load it up, uh, and then select audio, disabled, 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 and AC3640. You only want the audio to come out of this one because you don't need to worry about the video. Now you grab your video, in this case I've got a little file here, um, Zombieland Sample, which is just a segment of the film. And oh, you can't drag and drop them, as you've just seen there. So I'll just go to Open, and um, get my... Uh, I've already made one earlier, but I'll do another one now. Get my sample, and I'll open it up. And as you can see, we've got the sample film here. So I'll just put my start point, and take to the end, and put my end point. Pressing code, it saves as AC3. So we'll stick that straight to the desktop, press save. I've already made one earlier, so I'll just go over the top of it. Yes. It should be very quick, because it's only a small file. Uh, you might find that it takes a little bit longer um, if you're using files which you've exported out of Premiere Pro after making them or um, coming straight off of the camera or any other MKV files that may be in DTS that you might have so that's done and there's the next part you take the um, file this program here called TS Muxer it's a very good program uh, it's very useful for general um, HD, Blu-ray, MKV, MGTS, TS files. And you plop them both in. Now you're going to see that there's a DTS and an AC3. Because the DTS is the one we don't want, we're going to remove it. Um, I don't really need the subtitle file, so I'm going to take that out as well. So now we just have these two files, and I'm going to select MGTS because that's what I wouldn't. I wouldn't put uh, this one, this one, or this one. I don't know about that one. I'll just go with M2TS if I were you. So go to desktop, save um, as um, ZB in my case, and then we can save it as whatever you want. Start mixing, and bang, it's made the file. If that fails to work, like if this program gives you an error, you load up this program, put the two files in, and then simply untick the DTS or and any other files you do, don't wish to use. Then um, press start, and it'll give you one file like that, and then you put that one file, so let's say this is the one file, into back into this program here and then this program you just press start and make sure that's selected there you don't bother doing anything in here because it's because the other program should have done it for you and once you have the file uh, you can plop it on a memory stick or transfer it via the network onto your PlayStation 3 and there it is and um, also that one should now be the uh, that one there, the M2TS file should now be in uh, AC3, whereas before it was in DTS. So now we play that. When the virus struck, 
for obvious reasons. And we have signed. to go were the fatties. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to show you any more because uh, of graphic material and obviously I'd like you to buy the film um, if you want to see more. So yeah, um, that's pretty much everything to say. Thanks for watching.